Finally, question nine. Now we're going to get to the hardest part. Fill in the blank with a verb from this sentence of a methods section manuscript. This is a real thing that I got from a colleague who wanted some help with writing a, a, a paper that he was submitting. And he had a different verb in here that I thought was a little bit off. And I wanted to try to find a better verb for him. So he said to verb cell numbers and cell size in VMH and ARC. I don't know what that means, but it, it's not so important. Cells were manually sorted and blah, blah, blah. Okay. How can we solve this problem? What possible verb can we fit in here? Well, I mean, we can do the kind of thing we've talked about before. We can go to the methods section and filter the POS by verb. That is one option. And we might be able to find something quickly by just looking here. Um, so to perform, no, to, to describe cell numbers as described previously has been described. No, 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 describes not right. To determine, maybe to determine cell numbers. In order to determine the competition, activity was determined. We next sought to determine concentrations were determined. Yeah, that could be, uh, could be determined. Measured. Our concentrations were me measured serum. Yeah, you don't measure numbers, do you? You count numbers. So this was my issue. You count numbers. Um, you calculate numbers, perhaps, or uh, you calculate size. You don't really calculate numbers, though. You count numbers. You maybe calculate size, or you measure size, but you don't measure numbers. What's the right verb here? That's what I'm kind of looking for. So I know I kind of want the, the verb measure or I kind of want the verb count, but not quite. Are any of these other ones good? So here's the word measure. Measure is in the category calculation and measurement. Okay. So I might want to search category calculation or measurement. Now actually, my colleague used the word analyzed first to analyze cell numbers and cell size. And I thought, do you really analyze cell numbers? Because it's pretty easy just to count cell numbers. I mean, it might be time consuming, but it's not really analyzing. That's why I wanted another word. So analyzing is in the category investigation and calculation. So maybe we should filter our category based on these kind of words. So calculation might give me a word that I want or um, investigation. And maybe also this identification. Maybe that's another kind of word that might work for me. Yeah, let's try those. Okay, good. Now I have many, I have now only 23 words to look through. Not describe. Determine, yeah, it didn't really seem right. Assess, assess, okay. Experiments were performed to assess the eff efficacy. Levels as assessed, activity was assessed. To assess the presence, need to be assessed okay possible not considered define to define cell no calculate maybe estimate is not quite right recorded carry to, you could quantify maybe quantify using quantified in okay okay adjust monitored normalized standardized visualized counted scored averaged mapped Okay, the one that I'm getting the most here is assessed, but I'm not quite happy about something. I'm not quite happy about something. There's another word that I wanted that wasn't on here, and it's possible that's because I'm only searching on the methods. Maybe I'm restricting myself too much. Let me go back to the simple master, and I'm going to search, I'm going to set my POS again by just my verbs. I'm going to find those categories that might be good. Calculation. Identification.
investigation. Showing, maybe? Showing? Okay, let's see what we have. We have measured, oops, study, observed, found, showed. To show cell numbers, no. To identify cell numbers and cell site. Oh, would identified work? Oh, identified might work. Detect, known, reveal cell numbers. That's not right, not demonstrate. Determine. Determine. We saw that one already. I kind of like determine. I kind of like determine. I like assessed. I like I like those kind of words. I also like evaluated, actually. I like evaluated. That's one way you can find words that you didn't know you wanted through the categories filter. There's another thing we can do. Let's go back to AntConc, and I'm going to search on the large one. And here's what I'm going to think. If you want to search very specifically, if it's important to you to look for numbers or size, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's go here, and we can put in two, which will give us a verb. Two verb, adjective, size, and let's use the asterisk after size. Let's also use or. Two, asterisk, asterisk, number, asterisk. Let's see what we get. OK. So we expect to find our verb on the second position. So let's sort one to the right. And let's just do two to the right as well. And they'll put this one on left. OK. To a large number two amplify, to assess the size, to assess the numbers. Ooh, I like it. You can assess size and numbers. OK. Compare. That's not what we want to count the number. To count the number, we knew about that. OK, count the number. Describe numbers. Yeah, yeah, but this, we can't. OK, determine. That's one we talked about earlier. To determine the size and the number, we've got both of those represented. I like determine. I like determine. To increase. Oh, OK, so the, one, the other one I liked, evaluate, wasn't on here. Maintain, increase, quantify the size. OK, OK, but it's only one. Reduce the number. Interesting. So after all that work, I think we found that assess or determine are probably our best bets. And that's also something that we actually could do earlier on, couldn't we, when we just searched the cobs. So I have a feeling that as you get to know how to use this cobs more and more, it's going to be the best for you. It's the fastest way to find what you're looking for. If you know how to use those categories, which takes some time to learn. Final one. Fill in the blanks from this sentence in the discussion about the limitations of the paper. So blank number one should be a transition word. And blank number two should be explaining that nobody knows the truth about the process. So that's like saying, in, in the present study, we didn't perform certain kinds of experiments. We didn't do this. We didn't do A and B. Blah, blah, blah. You know, transition. The importance of PG production in this process is, hmm, you know, who knows? Like, we, we, we don't know what's the importance. Nobody knows the importance. So that, that's what I want to fill in here. How can we do that? Well, most of the time, you need to have some kind of model in your head first that you think might fit. And then we plug it in. So if we, we know we need a transition, well, thankfully, let's go to the simple master. 
and we have category of transitions. But since we're in the discussion, maybe we should just start there. I'm going to go to category one, and I'm going to filter for transition. And there we go. We have quite a few words, 26 words for transitions. Would any of these work? Is it a contrast? But, however, or although, we did not perform some experiments, although the importance, no, it's not a contrast. It's, it's like a result, right? There's, a, a, there's a, a cause and a result, or something that happened, and here's the result. So what happened was we didn't do experiments. The result is we don't know the importance. So one of these, because, thus, or therefore, is probably a pretty good fit. Now, according to this data, thus starts at the beginning of a sentence quite a lot. Um, well, so does therefore. It starts at the beginning quite a lot. And honestly, I've already investigated this. They both are occurring about once per discussion section. There's very little difference between these two words, actually. I've tried to find the difference. So thus or therefore fits quite nicely here. The importance of PG production in this process is, I don't know. <laughs> so what's the word? Now, um, I have the word in my head that I think might fit. But let's come to that word next. First, I'll clear my filter. The word that my student said was remain. You know, something remains or re is remaining. Let's see if remain is one of our keywords. I'll do search the keyword, control F, and let's see if we have remain on here. Remains, okay. Hey, there we go, in the discussion. Remains to be determined, remains unclear whether, remains elusive, remains controversial. I like it, I like it. So we might just take one of these phrases. Now, of course we have is, so we, we might have to change that to something like, the importance of PG production in this process remains to be determined. Or uh, perhaps switch it around. It remains unclear whether the importance of, no, that's probably not quite it. Yeah, so, so that's actually a pretty good one. Remains to be determined. That's not bad at all. That, that might just fit. So if that was the word in your head and you were lucky enough to have that word, it looks like it fits well. The word in my head was no, because, um, you know, it, it, I was just kind of speaking to myself. Oh, nobody knows the process. Oh, what's the verb? No. So let's see what we have if we do the same thing. Let's do a search for no. Find next. Knowledge isn't quite right. Oh, but that's all we have. That's all we have. Okay, interesting. So that means no or no is somewhere else. So I have a feeling that staying on the discussion is not the right way to go. I have a feeling that I should just search for simple master. If I didn't find enough data in the discussion, maybe what I need is to search the full thing. So let me try that one more time. Known. So again, that's investigation, but it's in the introduction. Known. Unknown. OK. Unknown. Knowledge. Known. Unknown. And so n unknown shows identification and absence. Knowledge is investigation. Known as investigation and identification. OK, let's try this one more time. And let's keep those three categories that we saw. So we had identification, investigation, and oh, and absence we had, didn't we? Oh, OK, but absence isn't on category one. Well, I'm still not completely satisfied with what I found. So what I'm going to do is actually go to category two and search for absence. Mmm, still. 
The basis of this communication is still unknown. Mechanisms are still not clearly understood. Pathogens is still unclear. This is probably what I want. I want still. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so we, we did have remains from earlier. Remains unknown, that would work. But if I, if I really wanted to keep this is, I think I needed still. Something like the importance of PG production in this process is still not clearly understood. Ah, is still unclear. Right. The, the importance is still unknown. That's what I needed. I finally found it. It took me a little while. <laughs> I should have looked for absence a little bit earlier because that's what we're really talking about. We're talking about not having something here. If I had put that puzzle piece together a little faster, I would have gotten my answer. However, to wrap up and to try to explain the philosophy of all of this, I know that this takes time and it takes longer than say using a translation machine. Writing in your native language and just translating it through DeepL or Google Translate. That's the quick way. And there are times when you don't have any time. You've got a deadline. You just have to get something put out. And it might even be good enough, but you haven't learned much or anything. The way that you learn and develop your ability as a writer across the span of an academic career is by putting in the time, putting in the work to be able to keep phrases in your head, that's where the phrase bank should belong. After a while of using this corpus information, I actually hope that you don't even need it anymore. It's like the Chang Tzu said, after the fisher catches the fish, they discard the trap and keep the fish. Or after the painter has finished the side of the house, they remove the ladder. That's all this is. It's a ladder, a scaffolding for you to get, to keep those phrases in your head, to just kind of know what is a natural phrase and what might not fit so well. And you'll get there, you really will, if you keep on doing this hard work right now. I hope it's worth it. I believe it is, and if you plan on writing papers across your career, you're going to have to become a good writer, and I don't think translation is going to get you to the peak. So I hope you're willing to put in the work now and uh, really achieve good writing in your future. Okay, well best of luck to you, and uh, I will be updating this periodically. So. Um, over the next few months. I suspect by the end of 2021 that all of this will be finalized and someday published. In the meantime, please get in contact with me because any feedback really helps. Thank you.